about this issue before in different talks, but um, I'm thinking about writing a paper. One of my hypotheses in this paper. Well, here's the way I put it. While people may join an organization for material self-interest, you know, to win something in their neighborhood or have more political power or issue, or join a union for better wages or higher benefits, more control over working conditions. What I argue is one of one of the reasons people stay in an organization is because of something that goes on personally. I'm, I'm using the word personal transformation. And the easiest way to catch that in any context is leadership development. I mean, people stay because they start growing in ways they didn't expect. They learn new skills. A member becomes a speaker. They learn how to negotiate. You know, when I see Maude Hurd in that old uh, Acorn video, she said one of the things, the least things she ever expected in her life would be to be negotiating with banks, meeting with Al Gore and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, I think that aspect of organizing is not written about very much. It could be written about more, and I don't think people pay as much attention to it. And again, I think this applies to both organize, community organizing and union organizing. Again, I think it takes different forms, too. But it, one question is simple. Do, do you, I mean, I've explained this in a very broad fashion, but do you think that there's something worth writing about in this area that hasn't been explored before, as far as you know? I don't know about whether it's worth writing about or whether it's been explored. Let me just, I think the primary motivation for why people are leaders some degree why people join organizations is aspirational, not so much. It has to do with how they see themselves um, and their expectations. I mean, uh, it's interesting. There's a documentary film being done about Acorn right now. Uh, it's kind of exciting. There's, they're finally digitizing a lot of the old, you know, VCR tape, whatever that goes back to 1972 or 73. One of the things I'm most interested in is I can remember with Tom Hickey, who was the first director of the Institute Training Program, uh, us doing two long video interviews up in the second floor of the 523 West Virginia building about, uh, that was probably more than 75 or 76, not 73, which my argument exactly was that self interest really doesn't explain why leaders are part of the organization as well. In almost every case, you can find <coughs> Acorn leaders who are getting absolutely no financial benefits 